Yes, yes, people, what's going on? Welcome to the Straight Jacket Podcast, podcast 170. Um, big up to everybody who's watching. I know you're thinking, why are you not with Nuruddin? Why are you not with the cats? But unfortunately, Nuruddin's not feeling well. Nuruddin, how are you first and foremost, mate? All right, lad, all right. This shit is contagious, man. So, yeah, yeah. so throat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Absolutely, all. man. So, sorry day. in the chat. Sorry day, man. Can't even leave the yard, mate. I know, I mean. man. I know, I know. I know. the last day as well. Last of the <laughs> 20 days. I heard. The last day. The last day of the nice weather. So, people, um, you know what it's like nowadays. You have to be very, very cautious. So, make sure everybody wishes Nuruddin a... Um, a speedy recovery, man. Big up to Nuruddin. Um, big up to everybody who's watching. Make sure you download the One Football app, people. Um, free to download. Like I said to you, all your latest football news, all your latest transfer news, you can get it on the One Football app. It's free to download on Google Play. You can get it on um, Apple as well. Make sure you download it, people. Help support the channel. Um, and yeah, get all your latest football news. Obviously, United at the minute, managerial issues going on. Oh, the lack of managerial issues going on. So make sure people to download the One Football app. Like I said to you, it's free to download. Make sure you do it. Um, link in the description. But people, the Comedy Central of Manchester United, Nuruddin, that you call Comedy Central, keeps rolling on, Nuruddin. It keeps rolling on. And you know what, man? I don't think it's going to finish anytime soon, Nuruddin, because this is what we are, man. We are... Comedy FC. There we go, there we go. <laughs> How was the uh, game yesterday, by the way? <coughs> oh, the game um, was amazing yesterday, man. <laughs> the women's game. Yeah, yeah, man. Distinct style of play, of the ball, how they hunt in packs, how mm. they set traps for Everton to get the ball back, how mm. aggressive they are when they're defending. None of this watch and, like, just watch people know aggressive in people's faces. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. brilliant. One of the best games I've, I've been to all season. And that's saying something, isn't it? Mm, it's about 40, yeah. 40 odd thousand there. Good turnout. It's the biggest crowd ever in a women's uh, football 20, game. 20,000, man. I was meant to come, but I was, um, I was, I had a, I had gym at that time, so I couldn't come, man. But I wanted to come, man. Nice day as well, man, to come. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, man, you know what? A distinct, um, you know, kind of reality from where United are, man. Bit of hope with the women's team and, <laughs> and no hope with the United team. You know what I mean? Because Luridin, at this minute, um, my United, there's no sign of a new manager. There's absolutely no sign of a new manager. And you know what? Are we are they are they doing what they, they always do? Penny pinching, um, and 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 what Van Gaal said about this football club becoming a commercial club, you know, rather than a football club. Is it slowly starting to emerge for the people to start realizing, or is it like you always said, man? You know what I mean? No structure, no, 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 no plan. Simple. Yes. I think a lot of the viewers know my opinions when it comes to Man United football structure and the lack of the way we play. Uh, we, we we play with our own um, speculations in our own website and our official club website. We have the rumour mill. We're doing, we're doing a podcast about potential Man United manager. <laughs> I can't believe that still, by the way. You like, like, like the like the sideline fans, you know what I mean? Like they're on the sideline. You know, just... They don't want to be us, innit? They, 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 they always said, oh, we're not a fan channel. We're not one of them lot over there. But, you know, clearly they are, man. They're so, you know, when we say social media, they are, FC, they are social media. FC. And yeah. I think, you know, I think Danny said in one of the spaces that, United are uh, the, the social media content team are different from maybe the people above. But I, I look at it, I think they should all be in one line. They're you awesome. know, the football club and the social media team, they should be together. But you know, it looks like for me that they've got their agenda and then they're saying to themselves, well, you drive the clicks and that, and we'll try and look towards you. When everything should be coinciding with one another, they should be together. Everything should be aligned. You know, it, it, listen, it's no alignment here. There we go. Big up Kelly's for a minute, Lassie. You know, listen, up, yeah. let the viewers know we're going to be live after this. On yeah, our I'm channel. Sure we're going to be live 635 people. Uh, yeah, on and we're going to be talking about obviously, we're going to do also coming up on the show 10 players that Saeed wants to get rid of. Yeah, um, yeah. and then I'm going to have three that stay 
and Saeed's going to do the same on my channel as well. Mm. But get into yeah. it. I mean, Van Gaal said this on his first press conference. Man United, a commercial club. You know what I mean? He said it on his first press conference at Old Trafford. People don't remember that. Mm. He said that. This he did, he did not, say that. Yeah, this is not a, a new tweet. Oh, sorry, a new saying. He said he had to, you have to learn how to adapt working with a commercial football club. So, at the end of the day, so listen, the person that I, who I've spoke to still maintains that Pochettino is the guy that Man United want. Mm. Are we going to get Poch? Because the, one of the biggest reasons that, because Poch doesn't need a lot of money to spend. Mm. You know what I mean? So we're going to get a guy who's on his way down, mm. who, doesn't, who doesn't kick up a fuss, who's going who's gonna to be, who's, who's, who's well-liked by the media. You know what I mean? He's got his media darlings mm. and by, by ex-players mm. and by some of the current players. They've also mm. asked for, for, for Poch. Of course. It's been leaked out, man. Their yeah. preference would be Poch rather than Ten Hag. There's a reason for that. You know what I mean? Because, again, the environment that's created for under Poch has always seemed to be a nice environment. You know what I mean? Not many players have fell out with him. You're looking at Ten Hag. You look at the interviews he's done and the way his demeanour is. He looks like a man that, for me, like I said to you, you know, wants the answer. He doesn't want to know anything else. He wants you to give him a clear answer. It's black and white with, with Ten Hag. You see this demeanour. The, the media have found out that, they and they found out as well, that he's very, very direct to the point. And I look at this Lord in, and I'll be honest with you, you know, this is for me the clearest point. Big up to Harish. I tweeted out before. They are waiting for yeah, PSG to sack Pochettino. That is all it is, United fans. You've got to understand it. They are waiting for Pochettino to be sacked so they don't pay any sort of compensation. That's where this delay is coming from. <coughs> how, can you, how can you you go and, you know, okay, you have to interview people, but I think it's a smoke screen. They, they're doing it to, 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 to get the fans excited again and then to all come crashing down and then it's Pochettino with going on a free, the man you all wanted two years ago. Well, yeah, we wanted him two years ago. Right, two, three not years now, ago. Three, two, four years ago, in fact. You know, and now the interview with Luis Enrique. They already know Luis Enrique is going to the bloody World Cup. He's got a project. Why would he go and leave that project that he's got right now for Man United? Are you stupid? Why are you going to interview Enrique? He's going to the bloody World Cup. He could potentially win a World Cup and come. To, and why would he come to Man United when there's shit hole right now? It, it don't make sense for me, and that's why for me. I am not taking this from United, Mick. They're trying to blindside my United fan base here. You know who your target is. You know who the person is. Go and pay the money to Ajax and get the job done. You've had three weeks. What have you been doing for three weeks? Exactly. Twiddle, twiddle, the thumb, the thumb. These, twiddle, these twiddle. are pundits. Mark Hughes is another one. Apparently, he's come out today or the other day. I said um, he'd, he'd get, he won't, he won't get... Um, Pochettino, Gary Neville wants Pochettino. What's this? All this club trying to create? And I and I tell you what, yeah, if this Man United, Wes Brown, and all them had a chance, mate, they'd they'd say go and get Pochettino. But what Man United are doing, the clever is they're trying to know what the traction is. They're trying to build up the traction. Trying oh, to create, as you know, it's baitery. We know yeah. that. I've talked about it before. Click bait. Look like, at this one, Nicky Butt as well. Nicky Butt. What is this, Nicky Butt? No. He's saying it. I'd go all out for Pochettino as, as he's proven the Premier League is young and he's enthusiastic. His style of play with Man United and his backroom staff seem switched. I mean, I don't think they seem switched the last two and a half years. I'm being serious here. Now, I'm not, that's no disrespect to, to Pochettino, by the way. My guy stood there, never changed the game, mate, as, as Real Madrid banging goal after goal, goal, inactive. In effect, yeah. mate. Ray, he's not feeling well, right? Yeah. Make sure everybody wishes them. Um, no yeah, yeah, right. listen, you know what? I've had two, I've had two of these tests. Um, Covid test and, and both came back positive and then one of them was a negative but I did it again and they came back positive again. Yeah. So they're saying there's a new form of omicron. Yeah. To be fair, I, I got I got the um I got the um the the the, the message from NHS app. Um, saying, saying someone has been close. So yeah. So you know what is there for me? What, 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 what did he say? He said there's someone you'd be a big close contact to as as uh, has got C19. Yeah, there you go. But people, make sure you're liking the video, people. And um, over 300 views on here. Keep pumping the likes up. And make sure you subscribe to Luridin. Literally layer to 5K, people. I want everybody subscribing to Luridin's channel. Link is in the title. Um, Saeed, delete that. I don't have the app, bro. I'm just, I'm using the uh, the guy's, um, the guy's <laughs> description. 
and the information that's been sent out to the United report. Um, but for me, like I said to you here, it says here, look, look, um, in terms of my United, they are still unclear. That's why I made the the, the, the kind of, you know, you know, uh, podcast. United are still unsure as to what manager they are getting. But I just look at it and I think, you know what, man? They know who they're getting. And it's this man here, Pochettino. It's as simple as that. Your mate, your mate, um... Um, Samuel Lucas is 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 writing up reports now. You know what they're doing in it. They're trying to draw the clicks here, yeah? and he's the one that gets the sources. But apparently, he's saying that Man United are not expecting anything imminent concerning the Manuel Jury situation. For me, United don't have time, nor did. So why are we wasting but our they time? Do have, but listen, they do have time. Sorry. they're renewing their players. Their time. Listen, they do have time in their heads because they're renewing um, players' contracts. And so they're not asked about buying anybody. They're not asked about solving the midfield problems. They're not asked that the manager, this manager now who's coming in, is asked about whether he wants these guys to stay. So giving out mm. like contract to Fred, Bruno, Luke Shaw, Rashford, Rashford Mike is going to get one at the end of the day. Listen, uh, I've been here, here. I told you all before. I just know Man United never get managers when they're on their way up. And yeah. if we miss out on Van Gaal, we could regret it. The biggest thing is the things that, to me, Pochettino is, is flush, man. He's flushed. I'm sorry, he's done. I don't, I, don't, I don't agree with this comment here, but I think for me, he's a good manager. But is he what we need right now? That's the. Yeah, that's all it is. It's not a bad choice, but is he the right choice? And United need the right choice. And also, let me clarify something. These two managers are not going to fix my United, by the way. But again, it's about having some sort of hope. Yeah, but you know what? But one of them is going to give me a distinct, clear style of football within four months. Within four months, exactly. And also, he can... The other one, I'm going to feel like, oh, it's just Ollie. It's all going to be smiles. Yeah. Uh, you know, media dying. Oh, propaganda being pushed to us. Poch has done this. Poch has done that. Poch is meeting with Sir Alex Ferguson, having a third dinner. No, mate. I'm not Alocino. I'm not here for Alocino, mate. <laughs> the reason why I call him Olochino is why because not even going to change. Not even going to change. It's going to be like Oli again. And again, his game management stinks out of here. At the end of the day, he's in a Champions League semi quarterfinal and he, he watches his team get absolutely game snatched away from them. Without, and he had five subs to make something. Five subs to change it. Change it. Change something. He's there like that, just walking around the touchline. Passive. Mm -hmm. To me, you know, you know, you know what I realised Olochino was done out here? It's when he waited the guy who took him to the final in Lou, in Mora. Mora, yeah, I know. Right? And Harry then Harry Kane's been injured all this time. He plays him and drops the guy that took him to a final. Mm. Nah, mate. All because he he what he was a shit bag. He didn't want right the the press going and having a go at him. He's injured, man. You're not injured. You say you know how I feel about injured players. Yeah, you're a disservice to your own team, to yourself, to the fans of that club. You're not fit. You're not fit. Get on the get on the Get on the bench. If I need you for the last five minutes, you might be able to do something. But you're not starting the game. Mm. And mm. Harry Golden came. And then we get what? <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly. You know what? The this athletic what I'm what I'm say. I mean, my cousin, my cousin texted me this morning and he's like, ooh, breaking, breaking. I'm like, what is he talking no, about? But you, know, you know how they do this, Lord? Because the liquid Pochettino was coming. So they thought, you know what? Let's throw in Harry Kane in there. I think there's a marriage. Click, there's a marriage click, click. He sent me the link. I'm like, I'm, and, he pay, and he pays for the athletic. I'm not even going to give them the, the satisfaction of me clicking on their site, mate. I'm no, not. No, you have to pay a pound anyway to read them. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. That's why I said, nah, mate. I'm not asked. But to me, Harry Kane, if he comes to Man United, will show him himself for what he is. He's a total fraud. He mm. wants to win trophies, Harry Kane. He's a total fraud if it comes to Man United. And you know they're going to spend that hundred million. Why would it be a fraud if you can offer the money? No, he's a fraud. He's a fraud because he said he wants to go and win trophies. Well, we're not expected to win a trophy in the next two, three years anyway. Yeah. Well, I get, I, you know what? I get where you're coming from there. You know, but United, but, I know but United my dad made it out like it was a trophy, trophy, trophy. Money, though. United is money, though. If you want to make well, you know, money, and, and also United. you know that they'll smash all the summer, summer transfer on him. And that means the midfield will be fixed. We'll be back with McFred. McFred and Olachino, mate. And we repeat for the next three years on repeat. Mm. Mm. At the end of the day, I want a football coach. I want intensity. I want a guy that's going to give me what he says on the tin. Intensity in style of play. And a guy who's not asked about who we sign. He's asked about how we can coach some of the young players. 
how we can just start That's a new what project. Say exactly. We can start a new project. Get rid to me. Well, the later part of the show will come up to how many players Saeed wants to get rid of. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. The team that he wants to get rid of, and I will have a veto on three. So mm. I, he'll get rid of seven. You know what I mean? I'll be like, those three need to stay. Get rid of the rest of the seven, and we'll do that on my show as well. But I just want to go on a journey with young, with young players, and a young player especially who are hungry, who are not all being given the, the second or yeah. third contract. They're given their first, or they're on their first contract. Who are hungry to get their second contract? Who will, who can listen and learn from a coach that tells them, "I want you to be here. I want you to pass the ball there, not make it up as you go along on a football pitch." And I'm sorry to say, but in in-game management of Pochettino is disgusting. And for me, I can never. To me, that that if anybody wants to know the truth, that's the day I thought you ain't that guy. You bottled it. He's a bottle job, Saeed. He bottled everything. He's a bottle job. And to me, the big, the biggest reason why he bottled it is when he played Kane, who's been injured for months and months. He mm. played him in a final where he mm. should no end be near the final. All because the media darlings that he's got now, so they won't they won't have a go at him. Mm. You know what? That's that's for me, that's the clearest, you know what I mean, um, example of this football club not being serious. You know, I spoke to, you know, there's a lot of people who I speak to who are in with the club. And they can see it as well. You know what I mean? It's sad that we, we have no control of what we want to do. And now, <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that, that protest I did, or I did last year, and people laughed at me, you know, mine was for change, you know But, you know, when I see fan channels coming out there and, and putting messages out there that we shouldn't, you know, protesting a manager, for me, I just want to know that, are we having a direction, the football club? Where's this direction coming from, you That's all I wanted to know. Because I knew Oligan Asocia was not good enough. Why would I come all the way to Old Trafford for me to justify that? There's no, I know that that for me, there's no control over me of a manager going or not. It's, it's down to the Glazers. I wanted to know that there, was there any change going to happen at this football club? What's the trajectory of where my United are going to in the next three or four years? Where is it going? But people say to me, no, you don't do that. You don't protest your manager. No, there's a bigger picture. I couldn't care less about Oli. I want to know what the bigger picture is. At the end of the day, people don't want to do it. It's statements to say, you know what? Oh yeah, we don't protest to get a manager. That's, listen for me. You know what? The, the, the protesting is done out here. For me, it's all about direct action. It's about civil disobedience. It's about walking out, bringing banners in, walking out of the stadium a certain time, emptying whole sections of the of, of seats. That's what it's about for me. We Man United fans have, in one form or the other, have been protesting the, the way the clubs run and the clubs board. For a long, long time since the Glazers took over. So this is even when Fergie, people forget that. The biggest protest, the biggest riots took place outside Old Trafford. Yeah. Fergie yeah. is in charge. Hmm. So to me, the, the the protesting is done out here. Now is where put your money where your mouth is. Well, where's so, this club going? You, Let me ask yeah. you a question. Yeah. Come on, man. I listen, I, that what I told yeah. people, I told people yeah. we're do we're doing musical chairs. I said to people. And you know what? I could be wrong because my opinion is not more valid than anybody else's. No, but yeah, of course. I'm going to make that correct. My opinion is not more valid than anybody else's, but I could be wrong. And I'll come on camera and I'll apologise to Pochettino if, Poch if Olicino comes and proves me wrong. But Sa Saeed knows my record. Saeed's been chatting football with me for years now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, my, yeah record. my record. Everything I said comes comes to light. And I wish he didn't say it. I wish he don't. Yeah, that's what I keep I keep saying to you, don't speak, but you know what? They need to hear. You know what I mean? Let's be real. You know, this 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 bit this position here, Norden, you know, United giving out contracts while they haven't got a money. <laughs> I find absolutely ludicrous. Because at the end of the day, yes, I need understand that a manager isn't the kind of almost um, you know, the, the, the position that stays all the time. The players stay, you know what I mean? The manager comes and goes, the common denominator is the players. But for me, offering contracts... But that's Galatonomics. That's Galatonomics. Retain. Retain. Retain and don't buy. Retain and, um, and give up big wages so that they don't want to go anywhere else. It's, it's almost cage them. That's what you do. You cage them, innit? You cage them. Cage them in. Lock them in. Because nobody's going to offer them that, that amount of money anywhere else. So why are they good enough for Man United then? You know what I mean? They're not good enough for Man United. They're not asked about money. They're all asked about the, divi the dividends. They all asked about everybody else getting paid. People forget. Ed Woodward was the highest paid CEO in world football. Yeah. Mm. Bankers, Saeed. Have you never watched the film? 
The Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Bring it for me. Dash yeah. it out like it make it rain, mate. They make it rain. That's why people get bonuses. Hmm. This is what we are. We're not running as a football club. No, we're and a Vangal, football club. You to Van Gaal. Van Gaal said it on his first press conference. Yeah, yeah. But we've been banging on about it for three years. And people said to me, no, Nuruddin. No, Saeed. We're, we're a club that's been run properly. You know, Ollie's getting the club. He's really sat in the football club. That's what he told me. <laughs> you know what? They said to me, now. Ollie's resetting the football club. Are you kidding me? What do you mean resetting the football club? Where is it today? So who's it's been the common denominator? It, listen, all, all of it got exposed. This DNA stuff all got exposed. It was a marketing, it was a marketing technique. It all the, the, the truth got found out on the football pitch. So hey, you could be the greatest marketer in the world, but when you know one place where you can't hide, where marketing doesn't follow you, it's on the middle yeah, of the I know. Pitch. I know. On that football pitch. Like the women's game yesterday. The first time they played in front of that much crowd in their lives, those young women. The first yeah. time. They were nervous. So Everton come out the blocks. Yeah, they scored the first goal, yeah. Come out the blocks first three minutes. After three minutes, banging a goal. It took them time to compose themselves and think, damn. Damn, we know where we are. Look, our fans are here. Let's give them something to shout about. And they did it. Honestly. And then, obviously, who came on the pitch was on the 23s. They won the cup. Yeah. I mean, they beat Man City, if I'm not, I'm not mistaken. The women's on the 23. They won the cup. So they they, they they come and parade it. And that's the only cup we're going to see this season. Mm. And big up to those young girls, man. Big no, up man. Big up man. And the youth team as well. Hopefully, I'm going to be there for the, for the final. Uh, that's what, the yeah, I, I fingers crossed I'll be there as well. Yeah, yeah. 30th of April, you know what I mean? Because I just look at it. Um, for me, this is... We've been calling it for three, four years, um, Fabiso. I, I said we are a football club. When they when they posted Lukaku, Matic and... and um, was it Ashley Young at the front of Man Old Trafford <laughs> with DHL on the on the top while we're doing rubbish as well? It's as if they're doing it on purpose, you know. When they post them things on the on the on the front of Old Trafford, you know, when they when they print out Aeroloft, obviously we're not sponsored by them anymore. But all these DHL, when they they do it on purpose because they know it, this is what they need right now. If United are still doing shit, you want to still be part of the brand because still people are talking about it. Win, lose or draw, they still make money. Uh, big up to Victor Liang. He goes, this is the state of my United. I've been telling you for years. I've been telling you guys, we'll not compete for another 10 years. The club is a JP Morgan. By the way, Canada made it to the World Cup Friday, the World Cup draw. Yeah, big up to Canada, man. Big up big Canada, up to man. You. Victor, Victor Liang. He's a Canadian, obviously. Yeah, he's yeah. Listen, are we gonna see the young, listen, are we going to see the Bayern Munich left back? We're going to see him. How was his heart? Victor, update us. How was his heart? Yeah. No, um, apparently there was a video going around, apparently, of a, of a good video of... Um, um, of of Davies and that, so big up to Davies, man. It's you know also, what I mean? His heart being sorted out, yeah. His condition being sorted out. Apparently, it's, it's, it's on the mend. On the mend. Oh, wicked! Let's hope he makes it to the World Cup, man. Because oh, yeah. that's one player I genuinely want to see play in the World Cup. So big up Canada, man. Got relatives out there, man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man, absolutely. But I just, for me, like I said to you, I don't think time is on my United's hands, man. I really, really do. No, really, you said United have got time. What'd you, no, no, what? listen, no, no, no. So I, I, I said they've got time in their heads. The Man oh, United yeah, way yeah. is in their heads. They've yeah. got time, but that, and that's why they're offering out contracts, not knowing even if the, the manager who's going to come in wants them. And this thing about Louis, Louis Enrique and Loc Locatelli, it's you know what it is. It's like they, it's like they think um, Locatelli, uh, Locatelli, got talent. They think this is Brett Burns got talent or celebrity get me out of here or something like that. These yeah. are the four contentions. Vote in, people. Vote in. That's what we are. Like I told you, where we are at, we are a soap opera. This is another reality TV show. Who's gonna be evicted this week? It's like Big Brother, man. Big <laughs> Brother. Honestly, so let, is, you know, get me out of here. You know what? Get me out of here. It's like, oh, it's Poch Ten Hag, Lock Up Telly, and um, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and and yeah. Luis Enrique. Nah, mate. Yeah, you know what? Big up to Victor Lian goes, Alfonso doing well. He'll be back in the Canada by a minute training. He'll be in the World Cup. Big up to you, always signed. Nori. That's good to hear, man. Love, That's brother. Hear. You know, shout out to my brother, Victor Absolutely. Lian. Mr. Dan, we've, we've spoke about this. We were just saying that, you know... He said it on his first press conference. Yeah. Look it up. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. For me, he's exposing. And you know what? He doesn't want his fellow countrymen... Lopetegui, that's the Lopetegui. Yeah, but he doesn't want to... Locatelli, that's what I'm calling. Locatelli. Yeah, he's, Locatelli. He's, out of, he's, out, he's not playing the World Cup, Locatelli. Locatelli, Locatelli doing the same, mate. He's sitting this one out, mate. 
yeah, he's sitting this one out, man. But you know what? Yeah, my, my thing is, Lord, yeah, when you look at the, the situation right now and you look at LVG, what he's trying to say, he's looking out for his fellow countrymen because he knows he will absolutely suffer and he will suffer because the direction of, of what he does, Ten Hag, every time will be scrutinized how he's dealt with the Man United media. You know what this Man United media are about, Noreddin? They will absolutely destroy you. Yo, shout out Say Me Assi, man. Say Me Assi, I want to do a documentary, man. Hit me yeah, up on Insta, man, if you're on Insta. <laughs> he can buy the club, you know what I mean? Say Me Assi, hit me up, man. I, I, you know what? The streets want to know who Say Me Assi is, man. I want to do that. Did I, did I, did I, did no, I want that exclusive off. interview to Say Me Assi, Zain. Yeah. I want that exclusive interview with Say Me Assi. Yeah. What, what about Vinny, man? We have to respect all comments, but Vinny says, guys, I love you, but it's getting bloody boring now with the Glazenomics. Please talk, talk about football. But I'm sorry, uh, Vinny. <laughs> Said, you and Vinny can relate because that's what you used to say to me all the time back in the day, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> For me, Vinny, I've had this chat, mate, and you know what? You're going to always lose, man, because everything comes back to the structure. Every single thing, especially with my United. It may, it may be with other clubs, but especially United, everything leads back to structure. And without the structure, United are not built to win. It's as simple as that. United are not built to win. And I, I still want this chat with da Danny Devil in the details about John Myrtle because I still think people are applauded him. For, shout for out Danny, by the way. Yeah, shout out to Danny. I was on a space with him before. But I still think he's, you know what that story, much ado about nothing, the poet, the poem, that is the same thing, much ado about nothing. That's what John Myrtle is. He looks like the man that, will, you know, looks like pretty and all that. It's and marketed, mate. It's marketed. It is marketing. You know what I mean? Um, someone's asking, question for you two. If you become made out new owners, what first thing you'll do? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? I've already said this. Sorry. Let me answer. Let me take this one. Go on. I'm, getting rid of, I'm, I'm, I'm getting rid of everybody that's got to do anything to do with the football. Everybody. Scouting. Everybody's going, mate. Every Complete overhaul. Complete first overhaul. of all, I'm going there. I'm going there. I'm saying, how long have you been here? How long have you stayed silent on what's going on? How long have you stayed silent or what's going on? And it, you know what? First, Actually, the first thing to do would be to have a peace and reconciliation. I don't know if any of you so you can look that up. Peace and reconciliation. Yeah, yeah. And what I would do is I let people speak their truth. Mm. How long have you dealt with this? How long have you been quiet? Mm. Why have you been quiet? And then anybody, all the coaches, first of all, anybody Oli bought in, all the DNA lot, See, yeah. like, they get the chop straight away. Chop, I ain't yeah. even no DNA shit, mate. Ferguson wasn't part of Man United DNA. Ferguson came from Aberdeen, Scotland, mate. He didn't know about DNA. True. He just come with his methods. So I would just get a brand new setup. I would get rid of, I would get bring the best fitness coaches in the world, best yeah. physios, best doctors. Yeah. I would bring these people. The only people who would stay for me is the people who have been there for 20 odd years who worked at the football club in terms of the training ground. Yeah, that, and that, that guy is doing the training ground. He's doing these these adverts and that. And and the way them adverts are a bit cringe, man. You know, the ones that talk about sustainability and, you know, the, the, the what they call it, um, the resource sustainability about, you know, keeping the stuff for the environment and all that. I'm saying that will help the club win. And for me, you need a whole change, bro. You need people who come in and they know, you know what? I'm not buying into this bullshit. And you have to come in with that mentality because at the end of the day, everybody is, 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 is sprouting the same kind of bullshit to the people. Like that advert, if you go and watch that advert, mate, it's absolutely cringy. People watch it about the resources and the kind of, you know... I got sent, I got sent that side. You know what? Again. You watch that, though? No. And who's that guy I that was press doing it? So I, yeah, I didn't mean. press on it. I didn't press it. You know why? I'm not giving him my click, mate. Yep, no, there you go. There you go. Anyway, we sure it. We sure what about, it. What, what about Rooney? Rooney wants a job. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You know what? If there was one person that the club would want, it would be Wayne Rooney. I'm telling you. Right. <laughs> nah, he would, he would, honestly, you know what? They would say he's a club hero. He's a legend. He's this and that. They would want him. I'm telling you. If he, if there was no available options, I'm telling you now, Wayne Rooney would be the first candidate because he that wouldn't be available. And if Ten Hag said no, and Pochettino had somehow nah, wanted, wants to come, it. it's a side. Everybody knows that Tan Hag wants to come. Tan Hag wants to come. Yeah, but the problem is, already someone might want to come, but they just, are they wanting... To, and I think, for me, Ten Hag, for me, if I was Ten Hag right now, I'd tell United to screw you. Yeah, yeah. What you they're doing what? to him now. What they're doing to him, isn't it? Embarrassing. I would yeah. tell United to screw you. How are you telling me? You're interviewing me, and you're telling me, Lorde, just wait there for a bit. I'll come collect you later on. 
How disrespectful is that? But what is true? Then people would advise him and say, you know what? Look what they're trying to do to you, man. They're waiting for Pochettino to get sacked, and then they're going to probably get Pochettino instead of you, and then you look like a muppet at the end of the day. Uh, apparently, uh, PSG won Ten Hag. <laughs> and there you go. And there you go. Nora, did we are getting sloppy seconds, mate. You know the sloppy seconds? We're getting second fiddle. We're getting the trash. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to say Pochettino is that trash. <laughs> But I'm just trying to use the whole kind of, you know... You know what? Shout out Amiros, man. Shout out Amiros, my brother Amiros. Amiros, 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 Amiros saying to me, oh, all this are Latinos, too much disrespect. Would you have him at Chelsea? No, you wouldn't. If, if, but to be fair, he'd he probably do well at Chelsea. He'd probably do well at Chelsea because of their structure's right for him to, to kind of, you know, to build. You know, someone taking Ma make Ragnik DOF. You know what? The no. more I look at Ragnik, the more I think he hasn't got any sort of saying. No what power, man. Absolutely no power. No power. He's there to advise, and that's all he's doing. Apparently, they're saying, you know, that for me, he's built on a consultancy after, you know, the the, 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 the situation at um, Leipzig. He then was more of a consultancy role, and that's what his kind of whole model is. And his model is to make money, United money. He did it at Leipzig, and he'll do it here again. He will create the most money that my United need. In terms of managerial issue, he keeps saying it. I have no say right now. And you know what? What will be, will be. But right now... I look at Ten Hag and I'm sorry, man. For me, you go and do... Okay, the formalities have to be that you interview every single person. But to wait till the end of the season when you can go and get him now or in, I think it's absolutely ill-advised, mate. It's, it's nonsensical. Why would you go and wait when you know a manager's here for you, but you know that you've got a, you've got stumbling blocks over Pochettino because there's a there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a almost kind of a, a reason that he might stay, he might go. Ten Hag is open willing, saying, you know what, I'm coming, just come and get me, pay the conversation, and we can have it. But yet, they're still, what they're doing is, business has got involved, and he's a free man, Pochettino, but Ten Hag is a five, six million dividend, uh, money, and you know what, they don't want to deal with that, they don't want it to make it difficult for themselves, and they go and get Pochettino, because it's easier, and that's all it is. No, no, I, listen, I told you, people, people, who, somebody who, who's, who, who I trust said to me, the hierarchy, everybody wants Poch. And even like, you've got ex players like Gary Neville putting a th uh, poll out there. 80%? Yeah. Was it 80%? Yeah. And then he's like, no, nah, I want Poch. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Like, probably United sent him. Probably United have sent him to do that. You know that. Now, probably to be fair to him, I remember meeting Gary Neville years and years ago. Years and years ago. So I, I went to Tell Football years and years ago. Yeah. And he was there, and he spent two weeks with Poch at Spurs. Yep, seeing the ropes, and he he talked about Poch as being a potential Man United manager. How can I just hold you on there? Well, to be fair to Gary Neville. Sorry, so let me hold you on there, people. Please get the likes up, man. Not even two hundred likes. That's shame on you. Sorry, go on. No, no, no. Tell tell us. It's speak your truth, man. Yeah, how man. many people, how many people right. watching? Sorry, how many people watching? Uh, Five hundred thirty-four. Ras. Not even half. Not even half a like. Come on, people. Keep liking the video, man. 300, man. Just get to 300. 300 yeah. people. Yeah, go on. Sorry. Yeah, so he said, to be fair, he, he, he's like Pochettino from back in the day. Hmm. And and he did say um, Pochettino. But at the end of the day, that was Pochettino then. Pochettino now ain't the same, mate. You know, in football, people think that managers don't lose form. Of course they do. They fall off a cliff. Mm -hmm. They fall off a cliff. He's lost form for me. The form guy is Dan Hag. That's the key word. Luis Enrique, if he wasn't with Spain, I would get him. Because I know that within four months, we'll play better football. Mm. Hey, that, Man United are not going to be... Listen, even if we get Ten Hag, Man United are not going to be equipped to go and win big trophies. No. All, all I want is good football, sir. I just want to go to a game, and I don't want to be bored out of my head brain. I just want to see a good game. I'm oh. sick of... I've been staffed of any decent football for six and a half years. Six and a half years, yeah. Yeah. If you look at it with 10 years without a Premier League, you know what I mean? That's going to be another two years minimum with Pochettino. Is there going to be, you know, for a manager who's not won a lot, has he has he won, he's won two trophies with PSG? You know what I mean? Obviously, you know, uh, Ten Hag is a different story. The Ajax League, they tend to dominate, but still, he's got a kind of a winning mentality that's with him. You know, I just, I just for me, like I said to you, the club have had three weeks off, yeah, and we're renting the third week right now. And still, there's no sign of a managerial appointment. For me, this is desperate times. And you know what? United think they've got their you know, you know, time on their hands, like you said, Norridan. 
but there isn't any time because Tenha will look at the situation and be like, you know what? They don't want me. They're not playing me and they're playing me around. And you know what? I'm not about that. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm about a club that wants to treat me with respect to say, you know what? This is the ideas I want to bring. This is what the plan what I want to do. So here, take me or leave me. He wants to know that. And I give you any money, there will be a situation where the, there will be leaking reports out there that will say, Ten Hag will say, and his sources will come from his kind of camp, will be, take me or leave me. Simple as that. Because that's what I would do. Take me or leave me. If you don't want me and you don't value me, and you're trying to go and play second fiddles with somebody else and try to play me, you know what I mean? Then you don't, you don't want that, nor do you? Mm. You don't want that. No, no, you don't. Exactly, man. Big up, Mr. Bean. Big up, Mr. Bean. Want, man. Sorry, Mr. Ban, Mr. Ban. Mr. Ban. <laughs> Mr. Ban. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Ban. Sorry, call you Mr. Bean. Um, yeah, just want to enjoy beautiful football. That's it. So we can watch the games again. So yeah. we can just turn up, knowing that we're going to play where players, it's like they play together. Honestly, I've seen better, sun, I've seen Sunday league teams that I used to play in string quicker and faster passes together than a yeah. common man United. And the women's yesterday, oh my God, scintillated. I Pick know. The new coach of the women's, man. He's got them set up well, man. Well, He's man, you know what I mean? <laughs> and big you know up Russo, what? mate. Russo. At least Russo, a Russo, very good mate. player. Very, very good player. You know very, what? Very good player. I was got it when he took her off, even though she ran her heart out, closing the center halves down. An absolute nuisance. I wanted her to get a hat trick, but at the end of the day, he says, "Well, listen, Sai, I just want to go into that Man United. I want to get in. I want to get in the same room. I want to get in the room with the Glazers and Man United board and just do a Will Smith on them, mate. <laughs> 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 I just want a Will Smith them, oh, mate. But that I want to do, mate. Well, man. And it's not yeah, even man. August yet. It's not even August yet. And it's <laughs> <very good. laughs> you know what? If you could only have a bit of time with his Glazers, mate. You know that's the thing, though, man." If you only could have a bit of time and just speak to them, you know. I think you don't need to be a Formula One fan because Avram hangs around the Formula One, isn't it? You see, yeah, you know what? Apparently, he was. He was queuing for the hot dogs, three hot dogs. <laughs> there's one. There's one at the East Stand. That's there's one at the East Stand if he wants to come. Yeah, you know man. what I mean. But again, like I said to you, we won't get that time with the Glaze. And for me, the must have to do better, man. I'm not hearing anything from the must. You know what, what? You know the most. Yeah, should be looking at the situation <laughs> and alongside the 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 the, the, man, the 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 owners of the football club in terms of knowing what sort of plan are we gonna do? What's the? You know how can the most for me? If you're a supporters group, surely you should have a say, not in the managerial situation, but in the direction of where the club is going. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Get you know, behind the mission statement. Mission yeah. statement. Of course, but I just look at it and I think, why are we not doing that? What what's going on? What what's the most negotiating? What what's their kind of angle that they're looking at? So I we need to stop this talk, man. Big up Ray in the comments. Ray saying, uh yeah. the, the the week has already been ruined because Man United are back on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying that before, I missed it. <laughs> big up, big up Ray. Ray was saying, you know what, the week is already because Man United v Leicester back on Saturday. Oh my god, Lurid in working with the Glazers heard that phone call. <laughs> no, that's my phone call. You know what I mean? And I'm not working for no Glazers, mate. I've had I've had emails from my United telling me to work for the club and telling me to do this and that, you know what I mean, and, and work for the club. But listen, mate, I ain't working for no club, man. I've seen people who work for the club, and you know what? They can't have a say. So I don't want to be involved in that, mate. I, I'm very transparent, I'm very open, I'm very honest, and they don't want you there. They don't want you there. It's as simple as that. You have to be, you know, you, 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 you can't say what you can say. And it's as simple as that. You know Nuruddin. You know people that work within the club. They can't say what they got to say. No, they can't. So imagine me going against my principles. You know how many... The benefit of, of money. You know how many off-the-record conversations I have with people who work at Man United? It's unbelievable. Go on. Go on. It's unbelievable. Honestly, you know how close I live there? You know. Yeah, tapping Tobes as well, man. Big up to Tapping Tobes, man. He invited me. To do a top four, you know the top four debate they invited. So Tobes told me, "Do you want to come to my United to the top four debate with Manchester United?" And I said to Toby respectfully, "Mate, absolutely no chance." So for Toby, big up to Toby, he's doing his thing and that. Whoever wants to do with United, it's up to you. But they wanted a United representative. Toby asked me, I, you know, I carefully declined, and he knew. And then he said, "You know what?" 
I just wanted to ask you, but for me, I don't work with a club. I could have chosen to do that. I took the money and whatever that was opportunity that came for it. Nah, but big now, up the brother though. Hey, big, big up the brother though. Yeah, big up Stepping Toes, man. He's doing his thing. They're going to do a top four debate. But this is where the club's We're not in the top four, mate. <laughs> Listen, you know what my comment would have been like? We're not in the top four, mate. <laughs> no, that's what I'm going to say. But again, what are this club trying to do, man? They're trying to milk it in. They're trying to work under this. For me, and, and by the way, Wes Brown is there as well. Wes Brown is doing that. And I'm sorry. You know what? Maybe, maybe, yeah. Let me ask you a question, yeah. Would you go up there to maybe expose the football club? I would have, me personally. I would have took that opportunity. But then they would have... I, I, I don't want to do it because at the end of the day, for me, I'm... I'm no, they would have edited it out anyway. If, if it was live, I would have. But... If it was live, but the thing is, it's not live though, is it? It's going to be pretty They would edit you out anyway. They would edit you out. They will edit me out. So Gary Neville can't say what he wants to say about Man United on Sky. Hey? Gary Neville can't say what he truly feels to say about Man United on Sky. That's why he's got to go on Nor Norwegian television I to express himself. But I'm sorry, man. You can't. If you're you're coming out with all this stuff, man, believe in your principles. Come up to Sky and say you need me more than I need you, and that's the truth, you know. If Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher leave Sky Sports, it's not the same Sky Sports. It's not. Everybody knows that because it's not this. They, they're, their characters, their personalities, they work together well. But for me, if I'm going to Sky Sports, saying I'm going to have to come out and say stuff about the Glazers, someone's asking if Victor Lianse, Saeed and. No, they should work for my United board. Can pay for this, please. We need a proper football fan. Listen, man. <laughs> honestly, mate, we get kicked out, man. I see the security guys at Old Trafford look at me like they know who I am in it. So they, they look oh. at me and they see a person who has a voice in the fan base. Same way with Norridin. And the same way the police try to come to me straight away and say to me, are you the person that organised this protest? And I, I told you. I already gave you. You told me. You told me. And I already gave you the lockdown, mate. Do yeah, not And, he, and no, he came no. up to me first. And obviously, he had intelligence from the club and whoever. They had intelligence. And they came to me straight away. Nobody else. Because I was around a lot of people. But he came to me. He goes, are you the one that organized the protest? I said, nope. You're not trying to, you know, criminalize me, mate. <laughs> no way for that, mate. So you stay no where you are. Perhaps, and, guess there, what? Mate. and guess what, man? Guess they what? They had the van guess ready. They had the van ready for Saeed, mate. They, they had the ready. van ready, mate. And guess what, Nuridi? Let me tell you a question. <laughs> You know, United, you know what my United fan, the police officer, guess what he was? He was a United fan. And I said to him, what do you think? He goes, well, I don't agree with what's going on. You know what I mean? So you have the right to say it. And I said, well, you know. <laughs> so everybody, even the police, zip. You know what I mean? Listen, Saeed, I think we've talked about this. Let's get into the templates okay. that you want to get Okay, then let's get into the templates then. People, get involved as well. Big up to Super Nick as well. She's in the chat. Uh, big up to Super I hope Nick. you're feeling better, sis. Yeah. <laughs> I'm absolutely. coming down with it. Oh, seriously. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right, last 15 minutes of the show, we're going to do, uh, what we're going to do, 10 players out, but three of the players that you're going to keep, right, okay? Yeah. All right, then. The first well, one. At the end of it, you can only get, you're only going to get rid of seven, but we're going to debate the three. Go ahead. Okay. okay. You know what? I'm going to do it as a, um, as a, um, you know, the team news. This is what I'm going to do it as. You know how I put it on the screen? I'm going to show yeah. people who I'm getting rid of. So here's what I'm going to do, people. And get involved as well. Because I'm going to be brutally honest. And I think these lot need to go. But send again, me the link. I see if he works on my computer as well. It's not been working lately. But send me the right, link. Cool, cool. I will send you the link. I'll send you the link. Right. For me, I'm going to get rid of Henderson. Gone. Gone, yeah. Yeah. Misako. Gone. Harry Maguire. Gone. Gone. Luke Shaw. Gone. Gone. Rashford. <laughs> Gone. One bad season, you know, one bad season for no, 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 no. It's two bad seasons, man. Nah, I, listen, nah, his, his, his numbers were up there last season and he was played with listen, injuries and everything. Nah, man. Go ahead, go ahead. That, that one I'm going to dispute. The big games was missing. The big games was missing. Um, so how many have I got there? Matic gone, yeah. Mato gone. I think I've got five, six. You got sat five, six now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight there. Have I got eight there? Yeah, okay. For me, mctominay has gone, yeah. Ronaldo, oh, um. 
Who else is out there? Um, I'm trying to think of one more. Somebody's got there. You're keeping yeah. Jones. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Jones. Oh, yeah. Keeping you, Jones. I feel like he's he's one of them that, you know what I mean? You don't have to put in the list to kind of go anyway. Um, yeah, that's my that's my 10. If I was to pick one more, just because it yeah, would be on pick there. One more. Yeah, pick one more. Uh, first teamer. I want you to pick a first teamer. First teamer. Uh, it would have to be Eric Bailly then. But it's, he's not first teamer. He's a bench player, isn't he? Okay. Somebody who starts Maybe. regularly. I would, if, if if the opportunity came, it would be have to be Fred. Okay. Yeah. The the first, number one I'm going to argue about is Rashford. I think. Oh Rashford yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Can, I'm going to put Cavani instead of Fred. Yeah, Cavani can go. Bye bye. Well, he's not really. He's not. He's a bench. He's the first really. team. He's the first team, my man. Come on, Norrin. He's a, he, 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 the guy never plays. The guy rules himself. Nah, he's in the first team, man. I'm but the guy team, rules himself out all the time. Like, I, nah, I'm he's the first team, man. Pogba's going anyway. Pogba's going anyway, people. But let me just read the super chat. Um, big up to Akash. Uh, goes big up to Saeed Lurgin. Enjoy watching the show, even though I'm a Spurs fan. Keep it up. Yo, big up, man. Yeah, Love everybody's that, welcome, man. bro. Everybody's welcome. You don't yeah, have to be everybody's welcome here, man. At yeah. the end of the day, we talk about Man United, but we're football fans. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we always talk about other clubs as well, what's going on. Bruno doesn't deserve the deal, by the way. We even talk about the Oscars, mate. Yeah. People <laughs> say Fred, yeah. Fred would be a squad player. But for me, if you're not a squad player, if you're a squad player, then you're not going to start. So I've got no reason to really keep you. But for me, yeah. he'd be a squad player at best. He's not a starter for me. If anyone thinks Fred is a starter in 2022, for me, I don't know. Because at the end of the day, United need to move past Fred and McTominay. He's a midfield that's ready to compete. He could be part of the squad as a utility man. That's absolutely perfect. I, I'm no I'm no problem with that. People say Fred starts for Brazil, but Brazil and Man United, they're, they're night and day. You know, Brazil, they work for his potential. United were never going to work for his potential. He's been here, what, how many years? He's just up and down. So I would, for me, um, it would be a squad player at best. So, so the th so the, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna I don't disagree with a lot. I'm gonna argue against two. I'm gonna argue against Rashford and Juan Basaka. Oh my god! Let me say something to you. Juan Basaka is still young enough that he can be coached to be a decent player, right? Yeah. He can be coached to be a decent player. Yeah. Uh, Rashford for me, he was overplayed. He was injured. He was putting on boots when his ankle was swollen up. He was played to the to to death. And I think with the right coaching, let me say something now, with the right one-to-one -one coaching, Rashford is not going to be a world beater, but he's, he can be a really good player for Manchester United, a squad player for Manchester United. No, but you have to put in the fact that they're giving him a new contract, a probably improved contract. No, 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 no. To me, deserves... no, no, no. Listen, listen, I'm not giving him the contract yet. You have to play for your contract. But it's one year, though. One no, year. no, 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 he still have a one year left. So you have yeah. to pay for your contract. So you get it as a reward how you perform this season. So, so, so you think you're confident Rashford can build his form over one year if he gets the right coaches? Yes. No, 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 if, stop if. If no, so I, listen. When was the last time you had a proper coach? It was meant to be under Oli, wasn't it? No, 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 no. come on, now, that's laughable, man. That's laughable. The man so, didn't do the coaching. Okay, Van Gaal, Van Gaal, Van Gaal. And what was what was he doing? He was doing bits when the Van Gaal. He broke into actually by an absolute fluke of Martial's not injured and that other guy's not injured. Something Keane's not injured, right? I think it was a Will Keane or what's the other? I think they one of the Keane brothers. If yeah. he wasn't injured, Rash, there's Rash, there's and no also Martial was uh, was meant to be. Yeah, start. Martial was injured. Martial and Keane were both injured. Yeah. Right? So. Wilson as well. Wilson as well. Yeah, yeah, Wilson. That's no, for me, you know, I, I just look at it and I think for me, United have got to be brutal now. We need... All right, look, I understand that brutality, but the, the reason why I'm making two those two is that I think with the right coaching, with the right methodology of focus on football and only football, where I see my guy eating Philly, you know what I mean? Man like uh, Juan Bazak, Juan, Juan, Juan uh, Philly chicken, you know what I mean? Eating, I'm, I, I, see him, I see him all the time. When I'm out, I'm out of fight. I see him at the... Um, What's it called? Those burger places, they got one on top of Axel Road and they got the one opposite. Oh, yeah, the medium arches, arches. The arches, man. Him having arches. So I think if he was coached, I would personally turn him into a centre half. Me personally. I would, there we I would go, there we go, Lord. He's got, he's, got, he's got pace. Do you understand Look what I'm that. thinking? Look at this. Nicky Gardner. 
Uh, I think he's a social media manager. Tweeted who will finish, who will clinch the Champions League qualification. <laughs> we will discuss it on the bait. Guess with our top four, <laughs> West Brown. West Brown, man. I'm sorry, man. You're selling your soul, man. You're, you're from you're from the local estate, man. You know what it's like as a United fan. You know what the fans are like, man. You 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 should know better than this, man. That's what I would have a chat with West Brown, man. You he's selling your soul, man. Good ambassador, mate. I'm sorry, man. West Brown, man. You're from the estate. You're from the estate, brother. You feel me? You grew up in South Manchester, man. You should know what it's like being a United fan and what the struggles are right now. You probably have family members who 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 are pissed off with the with the situation at Man United, man. That's why for me, I'm disappointed in West Brown, man. You think West Brown is happy? He's just that's that's his job, mate. That's what he's I'm doing. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. You know what I mean? He, I'm sure he can get a punditry jobs elsewhere. I'm sure I'm sure he can do that. I'm sorry, man. He's selling his soul, man. I, I, you won't be the first, you're gonna be the last, mate. Everybody else is selling their soul, protecting their brand. So I think I will keep Juan Basaka. I would keep Rashford because I think there's potential for them to be decent careers at Man United. I, I'm not saying first team starters. Potential, I'm saying potential, 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 potential. No, no, at the end of the day, because we've got. He's 24. Listen, listen to me. This, 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 you're telling me two scenarios. If we were to get Pochett Olachino, then I'll, I'll say, <laughs> see you later. If we were uh, to get some hard, Saeed, if we were to oh, get... Ragnick is one of the best. Ragnick, if you look at Ragnick, uh, what his, is his philosophy and the way he is detailed in football, Ragnick should be the man where you're thinking, right, Rashford, listen. He doesn't want to listen. Well, they, they were never going to listen to a guy who's got six months left, man. Six months, five months to, to manage. They were never going to listen to a manager who, who, who will come in and give them the hard shoot. This they is a team, listen, you guys are too arrogant and the team is an interim. So if you're gonna get Ten Hag, if you're gonna get Ten Hag or lose Enrique, to me those two guys are coaches. They're proper intense coaches, and within them, within within a couple of months, we'll find out both of them would actually be exposed, right? Because there'll be nowhere to hide them, nowhere to hide, nowhere to hide. He's from South London, mate. <laughs> Have you seen Rashford's brother somewhere in my, in, in Moss Side? Because I heard I've he seen goes, him loads of times, man. So you need to, you know what I mean? He's probably chatted to you and, and, and seen you. I said, yo, like man. I said, Saeed, I cannot speak. Saeed, I cannot speak, man. I cannot speak. I yeah. can't, like I said to you, I've had so many off-the-record conversations with people and I cannot speak. Let me, that's a good point, yeah. I get it, Nee, but for me, like I said to you, I think we need to look, be looking forward now. I think he is regressing. I think he's in decline. I think he's lost that yard of pace. Everything that you said, Nori, in. It's true. He's lost that yard of pace. He's lost that explosiveness. And sometimes you, you either got it or you don't. We've seen a decline in certain players over the no, years. But, but not when the club has been in a mess at it. The club has been in decline and he was performing at times. At times... And he cost that money. Listen. What do you, what do you start for you? What do you start for you? Listen, he was performing above his... No, 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 no. Listen, at this current form, that him, both of them are not current starters. They've got work to do on the coaching ground. On the, on, 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 the, on the coaching pitch um, to be coached. But to me, they will expose themselves. So they're the two I would keep. Who else did he got rid of? That's question. Um, and, and also, uh, Wan Bissaka. You said Wan Bissaka. Wan Bissaka, Wan -Bissaka both of them need coaching. Who else did I think that would stay? Who else would I, would I keep? Tell me the names of you. Two. Luke Shaw and I is done out here. Luke Shaw, yeah, Luke Shaw. Right. Maguire is done out here. Yeah. I'll Jones, show you again one second. Jones has stolen a career at Man United. Yeah, there's, there's, there's the, there's the, that's the team I would get rid of. For me, I don't know if people would, would, would disagree with that, uh, but let me know in the comments. Do you agree with that one? We're going to do what I'm doing. That's I. To be fair, you need to have another one because Cavani's already leaving. He's already leaving Cavani. Mm, but the you thing is, though, you have to have somebody else who's the first teamer, mate. Come on, no sitting on the fence today. But the, the Cavani's not sitting on the fence because I've put yeah, out an album. Yeah, I've been he, he, He's going already. He's going already. Okay, uh, Ronaldo's well, going already as well. Ronaldo's not going to play in the Europa League, Europa Conference. Nah, mate. Um, that's why I put Bayi in there. Bayi to sell Bayi. Nah, Bayi is a bench guy. I'm talking about first team. A guy who's who, that's why that's why I put Fred. That's why I put a guy when he's fit, he starts. So that's why I said Fred. Yeah, to me, at the end of the day, the reason why I'm going to get rid of Bartomane and Fred is because I want Man United to go and buy proper midfielders who can play in their roles. I, they're two same. They're the two same similar. I'm not having them both in the team. Tell us, tell us. Yep, yeah. he's another one. Um, is 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 fifty fifty as well. 
You know what I mean? I don't think he's the right answer, but again, you know, he's a, he's a squad player best. This Fred guy is a squad player best, like I said to you. Um, but this, if you like want to be brutal, you'd have to look at these guys. Because for me, Fred, would you say Fred deserves a new deal? His his contract's coming up soon. No. Again. To me, know. nobody's getting a new deal. Everybody's got a play to, before the World Cup for their contracts. Everybody. Yeah. If I'm a coach, I'm seeing it in training day in, day out, what they're putting in, how they're performing in matches. And then we might be able to talk about... Uh, he's going. Uh, he's going. De De Torre, he's going, brother. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's going. Listen, Cavani's going. Ronaldo's going for me, right? Mm. Uh, Pogba's going. You know what I mean? So they're going. Bye. What about this one here? What about this one? I don't mind Fred as a, as a backup. The problem is with United, they use backup as starters. No, 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 no. That's the problem. I need backup. I don't need any backup dancers. Too many men them backup dancers. They're backup dancers, mate. We don't <laughs> oh, need you know, backup dancers. You don't know how Chelsea have got Kovacic, Jorginho, Kante. You need someone like Kovacic to come off the bench. You know, that, that's what you call a backup player. Okay, he doesn't start most games or whatever. But, you know, you've got players who come in. Look at Gundogan <laughs> on the bench. Gundogan is a prime example. Exactly. Gundogan doesn't play every game. Fernandinho is a prime example. Okay, he's getting over the years, but there was a period where he was on the bench. You know, yeah. that's the sort of player you come off the bench. You know, but that's how it's called game management, isn't it? You manage the game, you bring players on, you freshen it up, they play this game. That's how Fergie used to do it. I remember Fergie dropped Andy Cole and Dwight York for the FA Cup semi final against um, against Arsenal at Villa Park that 99 game. Yeah, people forget that. Yeah, he's a squad player, best people. I'm sorry, he's a squad player, best. But um, with Pogba out, Donny also out too. With him. Yeah, Donny, the, the only thing with Donny, I think his confidence is going to be hard to build up again, man. I'm worried about Donny van der Beek, man, because he's been through a lot the last two years. It's, Not that it's an excuse. It's the worst. It's the worst. I've never seen a player treated like that at a football. Yeah, football absolutely season. not. You have to build that confidence. And, and I won't mind if Matt Fred were amazing. I won't mind if they were yep. okay. If they were like eight out of ten, nine out of ten each game. Yep. And I'd be like, oh, sorry, mate. That happens. Yeah. Nah, it's this exactly. Great. Exactly, people. But anyway, listen, we are going to wrap up the podcast here. Straight Jacket Podcast 170. I need everybody to like the video. I need everybody to subscribe to Norrin's channel. He is literally about 150 away from, 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 from 5,000 subscribers. So please, people, you know what? Let me just put the, uh, the link in here. United Real Therapy. Um... One second, people. I'm going to put the link here. I need everybody to subscribe to Nordic's channel. The link is here. Make sure you subscribe to it, people. We're going to go over there um, as soon as possible. Literally, I'm going to go to the bathroom, and then we're going to go and go live on Nordic's channel. Please, guys, subscribe to the channel and keep liking the video, people. You watch a lot of channels here, but they're not going to tell you the truth like you're going to hear here, people. We're going to say it how it is. There's no kind of, for me, what do you call it, Nordic? There's no filter here, is there? There's no filter nor anything. We don't, we're not going to give you the same PR bullshit that everybody else is giving you. This channel is straight facts. It's straight jacket we talk. We, 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 don't, we don't shy away from it. We don't shy away, man. I don't come on yeah, here. We're like Will Smith, mate. We step on stage like Will Smith, mate. We step there you go. <laughs> step on stage like Will Smith. So people, keep liking the video. Keep supporting this channel. Keep supporting nor this channel. And make sure you get the word out there that we are glazers out. We are structure out. And we want everything back to where this club belongs, people. So make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to both channels. And also download the One Football app. It's going to help the community. We're going to grow more. We're going to bring more, more things. All the latest up. news. All the latest yeah, news. Absolutely. All the latest news. And hopefully, Lord, this channel can get supported as well. So he can have sponsors on his channel. And he can grow his channel. But people, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Peace. Peace.